Hi, it's Dougie from Valto, and in this video, we're going to look at how we change the colors of icons based on the status of our item with a switch formula. So this video is a follow on video based on a series of videos um, which are looking at replacing paper based processes with power apps, canvas power apps. Uh, and in this video, we're going to look at how we use the switch formula to um, change some icons uh, and some icon colors depending on the status. So this is a canvas app we've previously built in uh, and shown you in a different video how we've created it based on a SharePoint list. Uh, there's a, a field inside of that SharePoint list which is called status and it's showing here, for example, in uh, across the top here, we've got our status of our items against each of these titles. But we also want a visual indicator. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, this text and just move this out of the way. So we can move this out of the way a little bit. Uh, maybe we just want to put the... Oops. Let go of that uh, and we'll just bring the title back over here a bit but we're going to have a little circle here we're just going to change color depending on the status uh, of the item so the first thing we need to do is insert our icon our icon even <laughs> uh, and then when we scroll down we can find uh, let's go with a circle icon from here oops that's not actually added it into our item so if I just select this item and just click on insert and then icon again. Scroll down, got a circle. Now you'll see, uh, you can tell it's inside the item because it will appear in all the rest of them underneath as well. I'll just make this a little bit smaller. Um, and then I think actually we'll just move that title a little bit along as well because it looks better over there. And then we'll place this roughly about in the center. So now we need to look at how do we change these colors. So if you select the icon and then you look at your fill property, in here you'll be able to change the colors. So it's, for example, if I just typed in red, they'd all go red. If I typed in green, they'd all go green. But say, for example, what if I wanted to have um, three different colors depending on the status? So new ones, maybe I wanted to be yellow, um, maybe rejected ones I wanted to be red, and anything which has been approved should be uh, show as green as approved. Well, I need to have a switch statement to achieve that. So all I need to do is select on the icon and go into my fill property. And then I type in switch. And then it's going to ask me for what the switch value will be. So in this, I'm going to say this item dot status dot value. And now that is what the, the, the value is going to be. And now I need to find something that's going to match this. So if I put a comma, and then the different values I've got, so I've got a new status. Um, and then when I put a space between that, this is then going to be what color it's going to select. So I'm going to say for new, it's going to be yellow. And then with a comma, I can then say what the next value is going to be. So the next value is approved. And in that case, I'm going to use green. And we can use other kind of color values as well. Um, I'm just using them sort of as a plain text just because it's easier. But you can use sort of RGBA and, and so forth. And then the final status would be my rejected uh, status. And that I'm going to use uh, a red um, color for. Uh, and now um, you can also provide an else value. So if you wanted to put in here, say anything else was blue or something like that, um, you can provide an else value just by putting something in there. And then when you close this off, you'll then see all of the colors will then update depending on the status. So if I just play my app, I just untick approved. You'll then see my new one here uh, is is got um, uh, a yellow and my approved ones have got a green circle. So that's a very simple way of creating a uh, formula, a switch formula, which will then change the color icon of your item depending on the status value. Uh, if that was of interest, we do have um, more videos which are all about the series of updating Canvas Power Apps and how you can watch the progress progression of this app uh, even further. So please take a look at our playlist of other videos. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you need help, we do offer professional services, including bespoke development, pre-built solutions, training packages, and a pay-as-you-go support service, which bridges those knowledge gaps within your existing team. All of our employees are based in the UK and have years of experience deploying solutions with small businesses, as well as large enterprise organizations. 
we offer a free consultation with a no obligation quotation. If this all sounds good, drop us an email, ask for Dougie, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.